hello guys uh, today i'm going to talk about the db2 transaction log and what kind of issue uh, as a db2 admin we face when we have a transaction log full issue and how do we resolve it okay so basically i'm trying to co i'm going to simulate a transaction log um, um, issue here and uh, we'll try to troubleshoot and how and uh, and and try to resolve it okay so before we get into uh, the troubleshooting part what i want you to make sure is that your db2 monitoring switches are on so what are db2 monitoring switches right so how do you identify whether it is on or not so just give this command db2 get dbm cfg grep i dft right so in my case everything all the all messages are on so in case uh, in your case if it is not on so how do you turn it on right so you can use this command db2 update dbm cfg using uh, you can choose any of this uh, uh, monitoring switches in this case i'm just choosing lock and on so basically it will turn the switch to on so you need to do this for all the switches or you even the same command you can just give a uh, different variables and on uh, with each variable and you can turn on the switches so just make sure before you do any kind of db2 snapshot or you're going to use any kind of tools we need to make sure we ha we are turning on all these switches to on okay okay so for the purpose of this test i've created a database called test and i'm going to use the test as a simulator of the transaction log issue now so let us connect to the database here so I'm going to make two connections to the database from two different windows. Okay. Now, how to verify how many connections are there to the database? So db2 list applications. So you can see three, uh, two applications over here, and both are local connections. Uh, the agent ID of uh, one of the connections is 399, and another one is 411. Okay. Now. I'm going to do is a sample insert into one of the tables which is called T1 here. So I'm just trying to insert. Okay. Now this particular application my must be logged into the transaction log as well right this particular transaction so how do we identify which transaction is causing the bottleneck or is consuming more logs so we have a utility called db top so how do we use the utility so the command is db top hyphen d and the database name so in our case the database name is test so let's give test and press enter now this will take you to a main menu where you can see so many other options but for the purpose of this test we'll be using the option called b bottlenecks okay to get into the bottleneck menu we have to press capital b now it will take you to sub menu where you can see so many things but the point of interest for our test is the log usage right so if you see this particular row you have a top agent called 399 here which is nothing but my connection from where i gave the insert statement right now in a practical scenario you might be having thousand connections coming to a database and you would like to identify which particular agent has caused the transaction log to spike up and what that particular agent is doing right now in this case we have identified which agent is causing the spike here it says 399 and and we would like to know what that particular agent is doing so to know that just press small a and give the agent ID which is 3 in this case is 399 okay now because it's it's committed so it's not showing up any um, any data over here okay uh, when I say it's committed means it is been written to the disk okay now let's see if I give
so you might ask me what is the bus you were there right so basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to turn the auto commit to off in the last cl in the last uh, insert what i did was i i didn't give the auto commit to off so it was written to disk and it was committed so there's no uh, no information in the snapshot now here what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to insert it uh, value into the table but i'm not going to commit it immediately right now let's see the so bottleneck here so it's showing the same application as 399 let's give the agent id 399 give enter now you can see that that application is processing the instance insert statement right okay now let's give a commit okay so come out of the thing now as soon as i gave commit you might be under the impression that that particular agent like 399 should go away from this uh, db to top uh, bottleneck right uh, but one thing you need to understand is this view will get refreshed under two scenarios one uh, the, the parallel inserts coming from other application okay that will make this view to change second when you come out of the uh, come out of your db2 connection right so that time this view view will change so let let me insert from the other session okay, this is from another session you see the agent id over there it says 399 just keep an eye on that when i press enter over here so i gave 399 it has changed to 411 right now similarly when i do when i come out of my connection see what happens it says 411 when i press enter just see the connection over there it has changed to 399 which was my previous connection right now i go back to my previous connection i gave so it says uh, not applicable right so all uh, there's no connection to my database now so there's no data to be captured okay so using this particular test what we added what we came to know is how do we identify the transaction then how do you edit what the transaction is doing so depending on your application you can go back to your application team and tell them to use proper commits so that the logs get freed up okay so only if you give a commit the transaction log usage will not go higher the other way around is from the database end. to avoid a transaction log full kind of issue there are certain parameters which we can tune from the database end which will make sure that you never get into a transaction log full issue which needs tuning of some of the database parameters and those uh, and we will talk about those parameters in my next video I'll, which i'll be doing it tomorrow and i'll uploading it uh, on youtube so please keep an eye on that bye for now thank you thank you for watching